Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcoming you back to Lovecraft Country in Arkham Horror, Mother's Embrace. Yes, without much surprise for most of you, I'm assuming. For the ninth time in a row, the supporters have decided that Arkham Horror will be the series that we continue. As you may or may not know, every month we have two additional episodes that are enabled by the supporters. Every stretch goal we pass by the supporters gives us an additional episode. So if we ever get to three, there'll be three. If we ever get to fourth stretch goal, well then we're going to have... um. An entire new series, and the content of which, of course, is chosen by the supporters. And, as I stated before, this is where we're continuing. So, last time we left off, we went to a spooky house and discovered that Professor Singer Tillinghan is actually the villain of all of this. I am so surprised. She's been annoying me since minute one. Frankly, I'm going to enjoy rolling back and killing her. But, here's the thing. First of all, her minions, the Herd of LGD, have been, are planning to attack the Mardi Gras celebrations with hordes of monsters because I guess that works well for the plot because I really have no other idea why. Now granted they could be killing a whole bunch of people and infecting them with the monsters that come back as zombies, standard zombie apocalypse mind you, but the problem with that is that they really don't have a lot of those since we shut down the gate two episodes back so really it just seems like they're going through the plan because they don't really have anything else to do. So anyways let's roll in and see what's happening okay. My dear friends, it's far too late. Even though the map directs you to Jackson Square, you can't possibly halt my herd's plans. You are powerless against us. You know, I'm finding that, that Professor Tillinghast has discarded the whole feeble-minded victim of this all and gone straight into antagonist mode. I prefer her. Let's be honest. Let's, you know, that is the whole purpose of the Call of Cthulhu uh, Game Master. They, unlike most Game Masters, whose job is to give you a good time, given the tone, the Lovecraftian tone of Call of Cthulhu, the Game Master's job is to drive you mad. I don't mean the play the characters, I mean the players. Well, let's move forward. Okay, so the clues you have uncovered suggest the herd of Elgade will be planning an attack somewhere in the New Orleans French Quarter, or near or within Jackson Square. While you don't know the details, you actually expect a formidable battle. Now, logically, what we should be doing is we should be starting with Zoe for the final conflict, but again, I don't think this is the final conflict. I'm going to be using a little user interface spoiler to note that there's one space still available, which means that I kind of would want to keep her rested for the final conflict. So we're going to kick her off and we're going to put in Rex again. Now, remember, Rex is going to average in everything, which means I technically could use him as the mage, but he's also got a decent amount of melee. Now, the thing is about that is he's got such poor, um, yeah, that's the thing. Technically, I could put you, her, and Crane in the front position, and she'd be slightly better in uh, taking hits, but not going backwards. Now, let's just check out a few things. Logical, yeah, this combination should work pretty well, too. Now, the thing about this is that we will be taking Banks, because Banks, unfortunately, is absolutely necessary for what I'm planning to do. You see, we've been going in with a mix of magic and guns and melee weapons, and this is just fucking it. We're done. I've been collecting guns the whole time we've been doing this. I got shotguns, rifles, and pistols, so we're going to be going in old-school Call of Cthulhu with enough firepower to sink a battleship, because it might be enough. So, with that being said, the question is, can we bring out Rex for this, or should we be Zoe? Now, like I said before, Zoe, I want to be arrested for the final battle. Her low sanity, despite the high mental resistance, is going to make her a problem with that. I don't have time to rest her, so we're going to go with... Sheesh. Uh, I am almost tempted to bring in Carolyn. Now, this is an interesting scenario. Carolyn is only average for melee. But again, we're not trying to be using a lot of melee here. So, and also, if I lose her, I don't care that much. I really don't. Hmm. No, no, it makes more sense to bring in Rex. Rex, Rex has got the better melee and he's going to use guns and magic. So, and I don't care how if he goes mad or not. All right, so the second one is Banks, obviously, in the ranged position. Now that brings Crane or Fern. Crane, of course, we're going to be bringing in because she is better with magic and decent with guns. Okay, let's get the melee in. Notice we have 24 bullets, 25 cartridges, and 19 shells. We've got to go through our equipment, for example, the Winchesters, the Pipe Wrench. I will be saving, by the way, because I desire to have it... Um, 
in place for Zoe for the final battle. This means that whoever's out there is going to be that, that means that Rex gets the melee, but he's also going to get a gun. So we have to decide ruined, ruined. Yeah, we can't use these. These are ruined. So that leaves one good pistol. That leaves two good, uh, one good rifle. Yeesh, I thought we had better. I thought we had two rifles. Apparently, we only have one. All right, we must have left them behind. We've got one good rifle and we've got two good shotguns. Now, the shotgun going to the people who need it. Now, the rifle or the pistol is the question here. Now, they both do about the same amount of damage, but the Winchester does less of a crit. So that means that we want to give the pistol to the person who's going to be doing more of the shooting. I love the fact that he has five, because even in the middle of all this, Roland will not pack a, um, will not fill that uh, fixed chamber under the hammer. Okay, good on you for the gun end, gunnage, but yeah. Okay, that means we're going to be Agatha the rifle. Um, it's a good place. She'll be in the back. He gets the Naranephrine. She's in the healer position, even though we're a little weak there at the moment. Now, the question is, what else do we bring? We probably want him to be able to do the tank, uh, but let's see. Oh, the filthy bandages. Oof. Thing is, I'm not going to bring these. Book of Bravery, plus two all types of damage, which is good. If you give that to Agatha, she can up uh, she can upgrade the two heavy hitters. So I think is what we're going to be doing. We have two books of bravery, so I don't have to worry about that. But the question is, why not bring the medical book? If we're going to have a limited number of heals, we might as well give the plus two. Now, note this does mean that I do have room to put armor. And the armor I'm going to put in for him, so if he's going to be in the front, is going to be the melee defense bonus of plus two. Now, I could also be giving him the shotgun or the magic defense. I mean, the uh, bulletproof vest, which isn't actually bulletproof, by the way, especially 19, 1930s. I think Kevlar is like newly invented right now. It's not going to be that. Or I could give him something else. Remember, he's decent with magic. I could give him the Book of Bravery to enchant us, but it actually doesn't make sense as he's going to be doing a lot of the fighting. He's going to be switching out between shells and beating people up. The like shotguns for heavy damage, the pistols and the rifles for minor damage. But yeah, I'm not giving her rack because we only have one good being of rack and we've got a lot of cartridges. So I'm thinking that she'll probably be able to do so. And if necessary, there's probably going to be items there. This gives us two slots, by the way, to pick up things. Now, should I do the Bromo Cafe? This will allow Roland to just unload on um, enemies. Just recharge, reload, fire, and then over Overwatch. Getting three shots off in one turn if absolutely necessary. So we're going to try this. We're going to leave one slot open for Rex, even though I could put the armor there because we probably want to switch out something or other. We're going to be looking for bandages since we only have one in reserve. And yeah, while we're here, I will have him take the filthy bandages just in case. It does cause a sanity check, by the way. In absolute extremis. We'll give it to Agatha and then have her use it. All right. So this is our group. We're going to be taking in Rex. Banks and Professor Crane. We're going to see about the massacre in Jackson Square because it's going to be a massacre. We know it. They're probably going to end up just sling a whole bunch of those face hugger like things to possess corpses and just start slaughtering the entire town, which I don't really see the point of, by the way, if you're a Lovecrafting horror. I mean, OK, it works well as a movie plot, but for crying out loud, what exactly are they hoping to get out of this? Anyways, let's launch the scenario. And here we go. Did you imagine my herd would stand idle while you wandered the bayou? Such overconfidence will prove your undoing. The ranks of my herd swell with new devotees thanks to the conversion of these poor souls. Soon you shall join them. Getting a little too much into this supervillain thing. Was it my good luck that made us late to this party? Or was it bad luck we weren't here to help these people? My herd has performed most admirably. She will be pleased with us. I really doubt that. Lovecrafting horrors are known to be grati for gratitude. Let's hoof it to Jackson Square. The people there will need our help. All right, so here we go. And yeah, well, actually, what's this? You can't wait to see what happens next, huh? Well, yeah. I think you have to have a separate thing for that. Oh, God, the cops. The poor cops. Not sure we want to do this, but there could be intact items. Uh, nope. Dead bodies succumb to a single gun shot, but we're all fine. Whether the injury was self-inflicted or a surprise attack, you cannot tell. 
That's the problem. Looting bodies is not quite the same in Call of Cthulhu. We're cut off from Jackson Square, and those police need help. Get out of here, you! The story can wait if you need our help. It's too dangerous for civilians. Besides, that damn Charles never showed up with the fresh rounds. Fresh? Did you just bake them? You want to help? Find Officer Charles and make sure he gets us that ammo. Oh, well, we got a side quest. We'll do our best. You do? You're a federal agent. Flash your damn badge. Oh, God. I hate the fact that he never actually uses the fact that he's a, a federal agent. Don't waste your time helping those police officers. They'll be dead soon. You know, death didn't shut you up. We're going to try again. Keep your heads down. Well, yes. Right then, so, we need to check out some stuff. All right, let's do the accelerator a bit. Right, bet I could pull that out. All right, full, loose, soil the fluid bed to find a hidden item. It is ammo. Bustum ammo. All right, we already know where this is happening. We already know what's happening here. Yeah. Thanks is gonna be a killer and a half. Yep. Okay, this is gonna be a little switcheroo. All right, so we'll work with this. We'll come back for the bandage if we need it. I know I keep saying that, but sometimes it works out. All right, so probably another sanity test. Yep. Yeah, we're getting used to it. Nobody blew that, that check either. Eh, okay, cool. That is actually in the game, by the way. If you, it, once you lose all the sanity for seeing a dead body, by the way, you, um, 10 points, I believe. You never have to check again. The poster in the sides of the Mucha announces the Mardi Gras Festivities is the biggest event of the year. You surprised the poster designers had no idea as to how big it was going to be. Well, we did get the portal closed. This seems probably their backup plan. The carriage lies angled to block the streets. Its horses are long dead. In their sides, police officers fire their weapons at monstrous creatures. Yeah, okay, take our word for it, because we can't render the graphics. We'll talk to the cop, and we'll move along to the next section. Police continue to creatures of the bay. Their shots will be less and less frequent. They must be conserving ammo. Come on, so that's one of them. Where are those shells? All right, so once we walk into here, we're obviously going to have a fight. You can see the little red line. I do actually appreciate they do that. We want to make sure I haven't missed anything on this side, because they're probably not coming back. All right, let's go. We got stuff to kill. All right, so we got two cultists, one with a shotgun and one melee. Oh, uh, why? Oh, dear gods. Seriously? Right then, grab the guy with the shotgun. Actually, get this guy. Eh, eh, they're both going to be pretty nasty to deal with. All right, so... Let's see, which one? This one's going to end up being sucking a lot of uh, shots from Overwatch, so we'll switch to you. And we'll confirm. Ten points off the top. Now, what we need to do, of course, is to move into Overwatch. So it will blast the hell out of the second one there. All right. So. You. Okay, so we can either shoot or Overwatch. And, you know, might as well just shoot. Now, the question we're going to, when we're going to shoot is you, of course. Okay, cool. And then we're going to move back, because you are the mage. You are not supposed to be in the combat. You're going to be over here. Okay, is that cool? The rifle the rifle will keep you safe. Okay, there we go. Now, what are we going to do with you? We've got the shift. We already know what we're doing. All right, apparently we can shoot through friendlies, which is good. And confirm. You know, Mardi Gras probably should have been something you'd called off. All right, so we only have one action point remaining. And we need to move, since we've got the melee... We've got the melee uh, resistance. We might also confirm position and make us the most logical target. Ah, for crying out loud, I can't get around you guys. There we go. All right. Yes. Well, that looked like it hurt. Yep, you attacked the one we wanted you to, because he's got the plus two armor. 
This always means you're a dead shot, but we'll switch over. Choo-choo. Nine points. Okay. What we're going to do is switch to this and go to reload. Agatha. You know what? Let's have you target the dude over here. Oh no, wild cast. Well, I'll take it. I will. That was fun. Right then. Well, that's dead. There's no experience points for killing them, by the way. They're just... See, things are not going for the main monsters quite yet. Oh, thank gods. Right. There you go. Now, the question is, do we heal him? He's at... He's only eight wounded, but he's only got 16 health. Eh... These are only healing items. Let's be a little more circumspect. That strange chant is coming from Jackson Square. All right, it's got a beat, but I can't dance to it, so I'm going to give it a 76. And if you understand that reference, you are really oh, old. Strange. That chant is affecting our minds somehow. Well, eh, I don't know. It's bad techno, maybe. We're not the only ones it's affecting. We'd better hurry. Oh, we're just gonna go crazy, crazy, I'm crazy with living without you. All right. I love this guy. About. Oh, we're gonna be living at the whole time, aren't we? All right. So, there are sacks. It's the effort to move them all, but if there's something of interest light enough to lift. Okay. Two more shotgun shells. The question is, since you're the only, which one of us should take them? I have evil thoughts. Alright, so... Right. Definitely you could use, at the very least use the shells. Don't lose the bromo. Don't lose that. Anything I leave here is going to be... Well, hang on a second. Should remember to reload every time, right? Reload. There we go. So, yeah, we'll just switch out shotguns. Every now and then. Hmm. It's too healing. Uh, sigh. No, we won't destroy it. What we're going to do is cash it here. I mean, I really should give it to her instead of the pistol, but the pistol... Uh, actually, yeah, that does make more sense. I mean, the problem is, is I got 23 bullets and 15 shells. The 15 shells do so much damage. Yeah, forget it. Winchester's being switched out. We'll give you the... That basically means... Ah, the problem is it makes the shells useless. Ah, it's so hard to figure this out with the inventory. All right. I really don't want to give up the Bromo. I really don't. Do we use the shotgun? Just... Yeah, what we're going to do is just place out the shotgun. And... Restore it. Yeah. Oof. I so much want to give it to her, but we only have 15 shells. I know I'll regret that the moment I do it. Oh, God, don't you hate it when the fans just get Riley? Here's an improbable spot to park her car. Maybe perhaps some took a shortcut and got stuck. Well, at least they're commenting on how crazy some of their item items are. Oh, it's the same area the view was in. All right. A dead body with its arms handled and oozing from a dozen defensive wounds. The corpse appears to have died and its attacker finally stabbed deep into his heart. Okay, shells. We found some in his pocket. We're back to 21 shells. I'm seriously thinking about going back and getting that shotgun now. Yeah. All right. So. This many shells. Uh, oh God, you have to run back all the way here at the end. Probably. All right. So. And we reload. This gives three people with shotguns, which is absolutely essential. There's the pistol. Thing is, we got pistols at home, but they're not as good. Yeah, bullets are too. We'll keep things as they are for now. All right, just remember the Winchester is here. I'm sorry, but three shotgun blasts is going to take care of just about anything. So let's go prove that, shall we? All right, let's go. More of those tentacle monstrosities. No wonder it's such chaos here. 
All right, let's go. That was the point, after all. A dead cop. I hate to see a colleague fall in the line of duty. Well, that's the first time you've mentioned that for a while. Reborn. Now we're going to lose him. Are we ready? Okay, this is how it works. Ten points, and we will overwatch. Okay, so. Yep. And walk backwards. Hiding behind the others, of course. Mm-hmm. And wait. Don't have items, so move. In front. And we end here. Yes. Yeah, he's not doing well. Four damage. We will immediately, of course, be healing him. Oh, no, oh, great. Hero, wait, your head is about to explode. Great. This is going to be rough on us. I can already tell. Now, thing is, I'm pretty sure we could probably save some ammo. This is a little weird, I know, but... I'm hoping that if we come down to it... He'll be able to do at least six damage. Alright, do it. And we save some ammo. Of course, they're going to come back, which is a problem. What the hell, dude? Why you? God, see people. Should be used to this by now. Yeah, shotgun, triple shotguns really actually making it. But hang on, we actually need to go back here. Hit the bandages. Use on... Yeah, you. No, I was trying to use her, but it worked out anyways. God, the book's useless. I'm going to have to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it for the gun. Bring to the policeman. Yeah, we've got other stuff. Let's get those police reloaded. Maybe they'll give us an exclusive. You are far too obliging. Especially to a group of doomed police officers. Well, now I know you're doing the right thing, because you hate it. All right, so we'll need to go back. Best item found. We've got some other stuff that needs doing as well. We're, yeah, we're going to go back, and we're going to grab the rifle and have it replace the healing book. All right, so no advice. Uh, move. Cool. Oh, more gun. More bullets. Good. Good thing we kept that. It's only five to seven, though, so yeah, we'll go back and get the Winchesters, because it's an alternate form of ammunition. No, the bullets are fine, yeah. Bullets will be fine. Don't need it. Yet. Good God, shut up. I've always hated you. I don't know why we're investigating your murder, except for the fact that maybe you want to congratulate the ones who did it. I actually think it's an alternate cult, by the way, that did so. And that they essentially a lot of the Cthul a lot of the um Lovecraftian cults will in fact um fight each other because they um are trying to strive for their old one to be the one that comes up. So it could have been that a cult worshipping, say, Narlahotep or um Cthulhu or, you know, Yag saw. Oops, we gotta go. Whoops, keep forgetting. The whole point of this was to go back and give the cops ammo. I think we're supposed to go over here. And it's possible, however, what happens is that we have to meet them along the way. Which in case, this whole thing. Oh, gods. Wait, wait. Did we miss something? Oh, good lord. One of the reasons why going back is sometimes worth it. 
Ah, but I can't see it from this side, can I? In fact, the guy, the pathfinding is trying to take me the whole way to get back there. I find that hilarious. Considering how wonky the flask, the, it's been the whole time, the fact that it's smart enough to figure it out. Here's your ammunition, officer. Thanks. This will help us take down more of those attackers and buy time for more of the citizens to escape. That's right, people. Work together. It's teamwork will win the day. All right. Cool. Now let's go um, back and get ourselves, try to work to get ourselves killed. I'm gonna say this is gonna be a hell of an exclusive. Rex, you're, you should be glad you're in the middle of it. Think of a pulsar, pulsar you're gonna get. Or maybe a padded cell, more likely, really. All right, so dirty bandages are over there. All right, cool, what do you got? Talk to me. Help me, please! What's the matter? My husband and I ran from out of our house, but in all the panic, I lost track of him. Those creatures must have cut off his escape. Won't you please help him? Well, kind of impressive you're talking without moving your lips. Good ventriloquism. Don't worry, young lady. Your husband has a higher purpose to serve now, or soon shall. She'll be the final boss, and I'm going to enjoy killing her. We'll do what we can. Right. The woman looks around fearfully, staring at every new sound. She cringes at the sight of you, relaxes you, no harm. Please, I find my husband lost in the crowd. We're trying to reach Jackson Square. Sure, he was safe. The last I saw him, he went back the other way. All right. So, we'll just continue our trek into the, uh... Voices. I hear voices echoing inside my head. Oh, that's... So do I. Ignore them. Most... I don't know. Some of them are actually entertaining. If you, if you train the voices in your head to sing, you can actually get a playlist going. It's amazing. Yes, but you, your genre sucks. It's getting worse. Let's hurry. Look, this moves by the speed of plot, all right? Hmm. Excellent. We cleaver. Mm, but we, since this is new, we'll switch it over here. I don't need a sandy test every time I roll thing. Uh, that's why you died at the beginning of the story. Wow, you left yourself open for that one. All right. Nope. Look, like we're all gonna go completely batshit before this is over, alright? Just cope with it. Alright, cool. Let's go. Hi. Okay, mage two people. Alright, we know what to do. Oh, wow. One of you within range. Move three up ahead, I guess. And go to Overwatch. Right then, okay. Confirm position. Two left. Overwatch. You're not going to believe the Overwatch is going to be hitting here. I have to move you, unfortunately. At least I can move through, which is good. Right from position, three left. Overwatch. First son of a bitch who walks in there is gonna take a hell of a lot of fun. And Overwatch. Come get some. Refocus. Interesting. Interesting. You're dead. Don't bring a meat cleaver to a gunfight. Ooh, that's minor. Cool. Let's do it again, shall we? And then, uh, grab the rifle. And you will do. Don't bring a book to a gunfight. Unfortunately, one of you son of a bitches did bring a gun to a gunfight. Problems. Alright, let's just move you to the healing position, okay? Yep. 
Oof. We're gonna do some healing. All right, so. How did you do so little damage? That's embarrassing. Okay, back to shotgun. Yeah, we ain't fooling around this time. Oof, got mangled a bit though. Get those weapons reloaded. Mm, shells are running low. Keep that in mind. Okay then. Shells are low. We're gonna switch to the alternate weapons, I'm afraid. Or find more shells. Overturned tables and chairs like scattered across the cafe. The herd must interrupt people celebrating here. Well, they are rude. Oh god, have some body. Have some ammo, would you? Nope. Corpse lies here. Twisted limb suggesting it tried. Something tried to break its bones. Alright, so yeah, we're all gonna go mad. But that's kind of expected. It's why I didn't bring Zoe. She'd already be flipping out. Hmm. Enemy ambush? Oh, you bastards. And just that. Ugh. How annoying. Oh, yeah, we're messed up. Right then. So, what we do is Overwatch. We Overwatch. And we Overwatch. Firing squad ready. Walk into this, you son of a bitch. Well, he didn't feel so good about that, now did he? You can't even swing? Oh, you can. Ow. Right then. Let's move. Get this done. That'll do. That'll do. And Miles reload this while we've got it. We only got nine left, but just in case. Let's not get sloppy, shall we? And that'll do. No, actually... No, it's, uh, they can't reload. Anyways, alright. That leaves you, Rex. Beat the crap out of him, would you? Or her. Or it. It's probably an it. Yes! Well, yeah, otherwise you shouldn't be able to say that, would you? Ugh. Well, after filthy bandages, too. We're gonna have our work cut out for us. Oh, a few crumbs made this plate in this table. You can imagine the diner calmly finishing a snack before escaping the attack. The idea that someone avoid the, cur the carnage makes you feel good. Oh, we could use that sanity so badly. Could use much more of it, mind you, but we're not gonna find it. It's that kind of game. Ish, I don't know. Let's check this out first. Uh, another body, maybe? Well, hold on. Can't. Unfortunately, we have to skip going through the bodies. Even if we lose some ammo, we can't lose that sanity. All right, so. These people are acting crazy. In fact, they're acting just like the asylum. Oh, gods. They're going to start attacking us. The voices are changing. Them. Hurry. Yeah, I don't think we can talk to that person safely. So, yeah, let's check this out. Oh, someone's left in this potted plant. You found it back for him. You feel at peace. Yeah. Okay, we can't actually have more than five, but five's good. Okay, but we got the sanity back, which is good. I'm going to leave this person alone because I think they're going to attack us if we disturb them. I'm starting to learn a little. A little bit, you know? Oh, yeah, we had that fight here. It killed you three times, Rex. Good times. Follow the blood trails. It's always a good thing. Oh, be quiet. No one asked you. shop seems to have escaped the havoc. His magic wards must protect the place even in his absence. 
Don't suppose we could knock. Oh my god. Start looting the place. Dozens of wood, woven reeds, carved wood, and polished stones, and many other natural materials cover this table. They're African designs and make you wonder if they might be voodoo dolls. Put on. Okay, uh, this is 1925. Strange trinket. Various mystical trinkets, amulets, fetishes lie on the counter. You don't know their secrets. We expect some of power. I have examined. Oh, so there we go. Book of Healing. We already know how this is going to end. All right, so we already have two books of bravery back. We have a spare one back. So we're bringing the Book of Healing because it's kind of necessary. But can we use it outside of combat is the question. Hmm. Inventory. 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 Nope. Can only be used in combat. All right, she's definitely the cleric. Gun-toting cleric. I love it. Gun cleric of Smith & Wesson. All right, strange trinket. Large of the wealth. Holy verses and brilliance. So, ah, open. Oh, but the panel gives you a touching object. Gives you the fingers to tingle. Oh, fortunately, did not only give it everybody the same amount of sanity. A weird trinket and then touch of a visit. He's not here to prevent it. You decide not to disturb it. I think it was a good idea. Yeah, considering it usually think how things usually go around here. All right, so, all uh, right. This one's always a little wonky. Just remind, yep. Okay, I do, the Book of Bravery has proven to be mostly useless. So we're going to go on with the uh, Book of Healing. Yeah. No, no, that's not where we want to go. Yeah, yeah, Bob. It's Bob's your uncle. Bunch of bottles. Green, brown, and clear bottles of liquor litter the ground here. Apparently, the residents of New Orleans care about prohibition laws, especially carry little about prohibition laws. Remember, this is prohibition when all alcohol was forbidden by federal government. And that is what created the Mafia, by the way. The Mafia was created by the organizations that began smuggling booze in from Canada, especially around the Chicago area, by a certain Al Capone, and created the first stage of organized crime. They're mostly extinct now. Under the bottle, we found a piece of paper must have written, John Lime Soda must be a recipe. Why are there all these recipes? And I suppose that's probably a drink. I don't drink that much, so... Leave the body. We can't use lose the sanity. God damn it! It'd be all this stuff we don't have. You're still alive. Are you? How fortunate for him. But it only means he'll die later. Hopefully in his bed. I'm glad to see that ammunition helped. Yep. You really saved my bacon. Listen, don't go any further this way. There's a bunch of monsters gathering in front of Jackson Square. Thanks for the tip. I have to warn the people heading this way. Good luck. That's what we did. We prevented ourselves from walking into a major ambush. Which way? Okay. Right. So, that's the case. We should probably... Uh-huh. Thinking this might be what we're supposed to be doing. Just a thought. All right, is there anything else we want to check before we go in? Yeah, over here. No, that's a dead body. We can't lose the sanity. All right, let's get this done. Even if you could defeat us, you would achieve nothing. What are you doing over there? How does that goat-faced horror even talk? That's a good question. I like it when the game points this stuff out for me. Taking control of this little city is but a tiny fraction of our preparation for her arrival. You know... Did she actually fill out the correct forms for entering the country? Because otherwise, I got a federal agent here. It needs to serve and it needs to uh, prevent them from coming over. All right. So if you kindly would just disarm and no. All right. Fine. Let's do it this way. What are you talking about? <laughs> Who is her? You pawns began this journey thinking she was dead. But soon she will become the gate. All shall be born from her. From her mansion in Arkham, the dark young shall rise. So remember how the dead bodies come back? Well, apparently they're trying to do a super version to make um, her a breeding 
entity that will simply drop monsters like crazy. And yeah, that is how Shub Negaroth goes. Uh, yeah, if the manifestation occurs, they begin dropping monsters like every second, which is one of the reasons. See, it's not going to be like Cthulhu just smashes and burns things and drives everything mad, or Azoth who burns the universe into nothing. If Shub Negaroth is spun, what will happen is simply that her creatures will swarm over the world, devour it, and remake it entirely into her twisted image. This is why you burn books that have anything to do with this sort of thing. Seriously, though. It's talking about Professor Tillingus. Did you just catch on? Is he saying she's alive after all? Oh, that would... Ex what exactly has she been doing this whole time? Did she, like, plant a, a uh, walkie-talkie on us? Yeah. Yeah. Shubnigara. Oh, shut up, goat woman. Yeah. Yeah. Shubnigara. Neener, neener, niner, niner, neener, neener, whiner, wiener. Let's go. We need to get back to Arkham. Can we kill him first? You're already too late. No, we aren't. Speed of plot. We have to finish here first. We can't abandon these people. Good point. All right. Let's do this. Oh, dear God. The guy over there. Newborn. Yeah, the <laughs> that's a hell of a face. All right. Cool. Who dies first? Now, logically, what we should do... Oh, God, I wish I had a grenade. Hmm. Who first? The melee people have to get within range of us. They're all melee. So the thing is, is that we can possibly finish off this cultist and wipe out the newborn on the left. So, start with the weakest first, even though he's got a decent amount of damage. Okay, attack this enemy. All right, 17. That's good. Good gods. I must kind of wish I could... All right, but Overwatch. we on this one who moves. All right, so... What do we want to do with her? Hmm. We heal. Now, you want to eliminate as many as possible first. And we do that. Should have reloaded her, by the way. I completely forgot about that. The way we're going to do that is finish this one off. All right, so Lucas is down, making this slightly easier to manage. Welcome to the next world. I love you. All right, but considering you're not one of the tanks, we're moving you behind the others. Then we can fire through friendly targets. That's not an issue. All right, so your turn. A couple things we can do here. Overwatch is two. Hmm. Hey, about that. Reload is three. So what we can do is reload, then... That works. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to reload. Where's the reload button? It's going to cost us two. Overwatch will be three. We'll be fine. Might be a little own shotgun shells the next game, but... Boom. All right. Walk in. Oh, he's just... Oh, for crying out loud. Well, that's bad. All right. Now some range is reduced, but it's still there. Well, you want to go into melee? We'll go into melee. I haven't got a really that problem with that. All right, so. Reload. Fire. Good round of shotgun shells. It's going to make weapon selection kind of easy here. All right, so what we want to do is we want to cast healing on the dude. Excellent. She's got two left. This will allow us to reload. Excellent. Actually, let's just switch to this. No. All right, let's do some beating, shall we? All right, but we can do this too. Remember the old trick? One, two. Okay, four remaining. All right, he's coming in. Good thing we did some healing there. Really good thing. Ooh, he's crit. Uh, defensive enemies increased into the fight. Damage range reduction is reduced. Great. The miss us effect that's just screwing us. All right, so what we need to do here 
is consider our options. Now I'm thinking, switch to the revolver and finish this one off. And he's dead. Now, what can we do? Reload. Hey, Agatha, need you just empty that son of a bitch into him. Twelve points. All right, cool. One left. Uh, it's kind of not going to be able to do anything here. All right, so, Rex. You're going to start beating this thing. Hand to hand it is. Oh, shit, I forgot to heal him. He's fucked. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to back up. Because I forgot to heal him. Idiot me. We'll have four left. Then we're just going to use this. you got to be kidding me. You know what? Screw it. Yeah, all right, fine. You know what? Did we just start over again? I need, let's see, two units away. Okay, he's got that left. Okay, confirm position and Overwatch. That was actually a good thing. Right then. Really? Come on, let's do this. Fourteen. Right then, out of bullets doesn't matter. You're going to be healing. Target here. Excellent. Excellent. What you do is switch over to the Winchester and then go to Overwatch. Oh, can't do that. Unfortunate. Reload. Oops, sorry. Actually, no. Over to this and reload. Rex, you need to do something good here. Right, I need to move you in place. What are you here? You can burn position and fire. Only three? How did you manage that? Okay. Oh god, you hate him. Mm-hmm. Okay. This has been a hell of a useful thing. Okay, and... Can't punch them, unfortunately. You focus. Your ass is getting in there. Doesn't matter, this doesn't require bullets. Backstab! The rogue wins! I'm calling the rogue. This time, I think we can write the obituary. We'll burn it first. The police can look after the survivors. Let's go back to Arkham. Alright. You managed to stay sane. Are oh, you guys fast? Yeah, we did these. Spent the herds, plans, help policemen. You've covered the suggest the herd of Algi planned attack somewhere in New Orleans, French Quarter, near with the square. No trauma, you still inaccurate, and we should be good. Hmm, give me a second here. Oh, wait. Such a long and twisted journey, it's time for a homecoming. Come, my friends. Let us end where we began. In my Arkham Mansion. Okay, so with no surprise, we're going to be heading right back to where we started. It kind of saw that one coming, by the way. Once we knew Tillinghast was the villain, 
Obviously, she must have invited us to the mansion for some reason, and now we're going to find out what that reason is. At least we will on next episode. So, this is Fantastic World saying farewell from Lovecraft Country and Arkham Horror Mothers and Base. If you like it, like, share, subscribe. You subscribe, hit the notification button to be alerted. Usually it's Wednesdays, Thursdays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and the occasional Monday. And, of course, if you really like what I do, down below are links to the Gumroad payment platform. And if you become a supporter, not only get access to exclusive material, you also unlock additional material for this channel. And in any case, I will see see you next time. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the dark lords of content and data.